full presentation schedule. Um, so first, just a couple things before we get started. Um, make sure that you type your questions in the chat window as audio is not enabled for um, participants, only presenters and hosts. Um, check If you can't hear us, make sure you check your volume levels by selecting um, just speaker volume up at the top. And if you have any trouble connecting or if you lose a connection, just email us at climatecampaign at globe.gov and we'll be more than happy to get you back. So today's webinar is GLOBE is a continuation of our GLOBE Data in Action series. And today we are looking at examples from the Near East and North Africa region. Um, and to begin, um, I'm going to show a little bit about the Near East and North Africa region. I'll introduce our presenter and she will provide examples from the region. And I will wrap up with upcoming dates for the remainder of the Student Climate Research Campaign. So, the GLOBE Near East and North Africa region is composed of 13 countries. Egypt was the first country to join on March 20th in 1995, with Tunisia following later in the same year. Mauritania was the last country to join, and they joined in 2004. The region is represented on the GLOBE International Advisory Committee by Mrs. Nora al Nasir, who is today's presenter. The region is also represented on both the Education Advisory Committee as well as the Science Advisory Committee, and the Regional Help Desk is located in the country of Jordan. So this region is one of our very active regions. We have over 280 active teachers in the region, and they've taught over 6,900 6, students. So this image is just a little out of date. I pulled those numbers off this morning. And these 430 GLOBE schools in the region have contributed over 550,000 data points into the in, uh, excuse me, 550,000 observations to the GLOBE database. So they've been wonderful contributors. The schools not only participate through data collection, but they also join in our month, our, they join in the monthly IOPs, and they also submit wonderful things to our competition, such as this wonderful um, illustration that was for the calendar competition. So after just hearing a little bit about the region, I would like to introduce our presenter who will take over for the um, webinar. She is the country coordinator and is responsible for the girls schools in Saudi Arabia, as well as the elected representative for the region on the GLOBE International Advisory Committee, also known as the GIAC there on the slide. Um, so it is my great pleasure to welcome Ms. Nora Almaster, who will be giving us um, an update on Globe Data in Action in Near East North Africa. Thank you, Jessica, and welcome all. Uh, it's a, ble a pleasure for me to give this presentation about Globe Nina. Um, and in this presentation, I will go through uh, three topics. Uh, examples from uh, ab about the uh, GLOBE annual activities from NINA and uh, the Ocean for Life program and I will highlight uh, some GLOBE data from NINA region. Uh, the first example uh, from GLOBE annual activities is from Bahrain. Uh, and it's called Globe Green Walk. This event, organized by the Ministry of Education, and each year it has a theme like uh, sense of place and green thinking. Uh, about 300 Globe students participate in this event every year under the sober vision uh, of a uh, uh, GLOBE team in the Ministry of Education. In this event, uh, students involved in many activities all the day and go through many stations. Each station has a name, like NUC Lobby Station, aqua station, and so on, where students play games and do activities related to GLOBE. 
And at, uh, at the end of the day, the country coordinator of Bahrain distributes, distributes uh, a prizes to the winners, uh, to the winner groups uh, that have the highest scores, and also to the stud uh, students whom had uh, been very helpful in organizing this event. And as you you can see in the photos, the photo uh, the photos show students playing puzzles. Uh, planting and implementing law protocols in different stations. The second example is from Oman, and it's called uh, Global Student Forum. And also this event organized by the Ministry of Education to emphasize the hard work and the achievements of a globe school. This event uh, brings together globe students, teachers, and supervisors from Oman, where students present their projects and activities implemented in their schools throughout the year. This event uh, provides a good opportunity for GLOBE members uh, to exchange their experience and to discuss challenges and difficulties uh, that face them in GLOBE Im implementation and how to address them. And also, as, as you can see in the photos, uh, students doing many activities like dancing, drawing, and implement also GLOBE protocols. Uh, and uh, what is very interesting is that they, ha they have a group photo with their teachers and supervisors and the GLOBE team in the Ministry of Education. The last example uh, for GLOBE annual activities is from, is from Saudi Arabia. And it's called uh, uh, Student Scientific Field Studies. Uh, the event also organized by the Ministry of Education, uh, where uh, studi global students from uh, all around the kingdom uh, come together with teachers, supervisors in a specific place like uh, lake or uh, nature reserve uh, with scientists from the university and study some environmental properties uh, for the place using raw protocols. Uh, also, the study uh, includes visits to research uh, centers. Uh, this event uh, aims to develop knowledge and skills related to science and, uh, and the globe. Uh, and also, it aims to create strong social connections between globe students in the kingdom. Uh, as you can see in the photos, fo fo uh, photos at the top show students uh, in their visit to uh, the National Bands and Dates Research Center, where they learn about palm tree and how to plant it and how to protect it. And the uh, photos in the bottom show students uh, implement soil and land cover protocols in the field study. The second topic is Ocean for Life program. Uh, Ocean for Life uh, is, uh, is a partnership between GLOBE, the GLOBE program and the National Marine Sanctuary uh, Foundation. And it aims to increase cultural understanding through ocean science. Um, this program provides high quality ocean field studies and education programs to high school students from different culture, cultures and backgrounds. Um, GLOBE students from uh, the NENA region participate in this program together with students from, uh, from USA. 
In this program, students study ocean science using global protocols and learn about media and photography, and also they make their own media projects. Um, the Ocean for Life field study held in summer every two years. Um, the first time was in uh, 2000, uh, 2009, uh, and it took place in Florida. And the second time was in uh, 2011 and took place in uh, California. And this year it will take place in, also in California uh, by the end of June. And this picture, uh, as you can see, shows students doing many activities, including diving and uh, implementing law protocols to learn about oceans. Uh, the last topic is highlights about the globe da data from NINA region. Um, uh, the photo shows NINA uh, countries in, 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 the, in the world map. Um, and I will highlight some data count from the region using the visualization tool. I have compared the measurement of uh, median daily air temperature and cloud cover, as, a, as an example. Um, in, the, in, in this slide and the next slide, as you can see, the first is for the temperature and the second is for uh, cloud cover. And as you can see, um, the, the number of temperature measurements is greater than the number of cloud measurements, cloud cover measurements. Uh, while the number of study sites for cloud cover is greater. And I think that's because a cloud protocol uh, doesn't need equipment except, except a cloud chart. Um, so students can do it everywhere. And, and in Saudi Arabia, some students do cloud observations in their home yards. Um, and what, what, what's interesting more is that their families participate with them in, the, in that observation. Something in, uh, else interesting about uh, globe data from NINA uh, is that there, uh, there is some measurements done just by few schools uh, in the whole region. And I think that because uh, most of them need uh, equipment cannot be provided in every school. Mm, and I will uh, give ex examples of these measurements in this slide and the next slide. Uh, in this slide, you can see um, the surface uh, temperature uh, measurement, uh, the, the data, data count for uh, surface temperature measurement. And we can see also uh, only uh, four schools in the, re, uh, in the region, uh, two from Lebanon. Uh, they are Alai Cultural Secondary School and American Community School, and two from Saudi Arabia, and they are all the at Malik Secondary School at Yambo and Shafi Secondary School at Rijal al -Ma. Also for the ozone measurement, there are only two schools uh, one in Qatar, which is Al Marhiya Girls Primary Independent School, and the second in Lebanon, in, and it uh, seems to be active uh, school. It's American Community School. And the last for the uh, land land cover photo, only there are only two schools have submitted land cover photos. Uh, they are uh, American Community School also in Lebanon and Overseas Pakistan uh, Foundation Girls School in Pakistan. And it's uh, a, a very active school, uh, global school in, in Pakistan. They are doing many um, activities uh, related to uh, in hydrology and land cover. Um, and that's all. Thank you.
Thank you very much, Nora. Does anyone have any questions? Um, if you do, please place it in the chat window and I'll leave Nora on for a couple minutes to answer any of those questions. have a couple people typing. I'll just give them a minute to come in. So Nora, Jan would like to know the name of the active school in Pakistan. Uh, it is over Overseas Pakistanis Foundation Girls College. And the, uh, the principal of this school is uh, the assistant of country coordinator of Pakistan, uh, Mrs. Shahina Masoud. Okay, well, um, if anyone has any additional questions, we will be archiving this website and it will, or this webinar, and it will be up later today. So if you think of something that you would like to ask Nora, please be sure to check it on the website. And thank you again, Nora, for presenting to us what's going on in the Near East North Africa region. I really enjoyed hearing everything. So thank you very much. You're yeah, welcome. Okay, so just to wrap up, um, we are coming to the close of the Student Climate Research Campaign, but um, we have a couple of more IOPs that are occurring. So right now, in the month of June, we are in the, we've just begun the final Great Global Investigation of Climate IOP. So please be sure to get out there and take your air temperature, precipitation, and soil temperature measurements. We're also really looking for schools in the Asia and Pacific region to participate. We've featured all of the other regions in a GGIC summary on the website, and we'd love to feature Asia Pacific in this final one. And of course, we have phenology and climate still ongoing. I know here at the Globe Program Office, we've been taking our measurements, and I don't think we've finally finished green up yet, so we're still out there measuring our leaves. And in the month of July, um, there's the climate and land cover IOP, so taking those land cover photographs like Nora mentioned. So we have one remaining webinar, and that is on the 25th of June, and that will be the final in this series of Globe Data in Action from our region, and it will come to us from North America. Mr. Or, um, Paul Hamilton from Canada will be giving that presentation, so we're really excited to have that. Um, a couple of other upcoming dates. For the SCRC, on August 10th, we will be announcing the winners of the virtual student conference. We had over 50 entries into the conference, and um, there won some wonderful research projects. So all the presentations are still available online. Um, there's a link down under Globe Web Links for you to go check those out. So I highly encourage you to take a look at the wonderful projects that our students are doing. And then from the 12th through the 16th of August is the Globe Annual Meeting. And during that time, on, the, on Monday and Tuesday, on the, um, excuse me, the 12th and the 13th, will be the student research exhibition. And we have about 33 student presentations um, that have been nominated. And so um, there will be some great research there. So again, our final webinar for the SCRC will be on the 25th of June. It's the Globe Data in Action Examples from North America. And again, Paul Hamilton from Canada will be giving that presentation. So um, if you have any questions or comments, you can type it in the chat, chat window now, or you can let us know on the SCRC discussion forum. So I'll stick around for a few minutes. Thank you all so much for attending today. I hope you all learned as much as I did about uh, Near East North Africa. And I hope you all have a great day.